Hey, what's up, guys? Maximus Black here. And Nova War. And we're bringing you guys a normal-ass, normal game sent in to the fans by or on DTDGamer.com. Or, in fact, I think we got this one from replays.lifesaglitchtv at gmail.com. Yep. You can also send replays there as well. Um, it was one of them. It was one of them. We could have got it in the mail, for all I know. Could have opened up and said, hey, here's a game. Yep. It was on a USB stick. Kind of a not-so-cost-effective way of getting uh, games to us, but... Uh, well, you got casted. Yep. Mr. Mass... Mr. Mass... Mr. Mass... Mr. Mass... Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mass... Mr. Mass... Mr. Mass... Mr. Mass... Mr. Mass... Mr. It's been a really long day. It is. I am on some other, other, on other like plane of, of tiredness. Down here in the bottom left position, mm -hmm. we are looking at Phoenix Z, and over here in the top right position, we're looking at Zulu. Isn't that a uh, website that you can watch? That's free? Hulu. Okay. Hit us up with that collab, please. Anybody, hit us up with that collab that, that has money. Yes. 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 I was actually hoping you weren't going to ask me if that was a Star Trek character. Because that's no, Sulu. No, Star Not Trek Zulu. is the last thing on my mind always. What's the first? Star Wars. Really? Yeah. That was not I'm the going, answer I was... I'm I was, going there. Say something, hater. That was not, <laughs> it's not the answer Say I thought something. was going... Um, Star Wars. Star Wars I, or Star... I bought, I Star Wars or Star Trek, comments below. We've had, we've had that before. Did we have that before? Do, do we I want to anyway? see it again. Do, Star Wars all the way. I'm team Star Wars. Uh, I'm, although, team, I'm team Star Trek. Although, I will say, the Star Trek movies, the new one, and... It's pretty awesome. It, fantastic. Better than the last three Star, War, Star Wars movies combined. Yes, absolutely. But the original three, ooh. Oh, yeah. Epic. No, oh, absolutely. And that's, that's where I'm at. I I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big Trekkie, but I did just buy all uh, six Star Wars movies on Blu-ray. I like me some Star Wars. I'm not going to lie. So I guess we're not really biased. We like them both. Somebody I've, just tell us what the I've hell it is. I've been brought up on Star Wars, so I'm, I'm a Star Wars guy. Anyway. Anyway, hey, look what's happening right here. There's actual StarCraft happening. Great. You know what it's called? Oh, sick it's pro. Called, it's called. Sick pro placement. Oh! Sick pro oh, placement. Sick pro. Oh, oh, yes. Epic pro. Oh, and I clicked even... on a mineral patch. Oh, my God. To get was, out of there. That was so sexy. I just came three times. Just three? Yeah. I was, I was at least hoping for four on that one. He actually got out of there by clicking on the mineral patch. Kay. All those drones were blocking him epic in. Epic probe is epic. Absolutely epic probe is epic. And he is still running around right now. And that oh, cannon man. is going to finish probe. in time. Boss probe. And oh, another cannon going up. Yes, winning. You've done your service. <laughs> you have done your service, probe. <laughs> I was going to join you, but you went like an octave above my vocal range. Okay. That's okay. So I appreciate that. Um, he just basically denied that entire expansion. Yeah, no, that that was beautiful. Look at that. That cannon is going to be able to take down that hatchery, no problem. We take a look over here at Phoenix's base. Uh, he's just getting uh, getting away at this wall. It seems it looks like he is going to do some sort of fast expansion. Uh, it was it was it's it, it's like he had it set up as a forge fast. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I'll be honest. We were talking about Star Wars and Star Trek. If the Zerg saw that as a forge fast and then built those cannons up there, and so it delayed his actual Forge Fast. Now he's kind of like some quasi-whatever-it-is, just because he knows he has that expansion locked down. But he's going to be careful, because there's a Roach Warren down now, yeah. and a single-base Roach Warren here, uh, attack here, if done quickly enough, is definitely going to be enough uh, to really put him in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's going to need some cannons at this point. What you do when you're uh, getting rid, and I don't consider this cheese. No, 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 this, that's just smart. This is just getting rid of a hatchery. Maybe this, not the most effective way. You don't really need three pylons, and you don't really need two cannons. One cannon would have been enough, and then, you know, that probe did his job, but any, oh my god, and Jesus oh, Lord and Savior. Oh, man, what? Where did that, where did, where was that drone? Uh, it was a scouting drone, and I do believe he oh, was sitting, just hiding it over he there? was sitting in here. I didn't even see him on the mini-map, and we're on a TV right now. How have I not seen? Got your glasses on? Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean, you have an excuse. I, I have no... I have zero excuse for so, why that happened. So what Phoenix uh, kind of did wrong was he put too much, he invested too much here. He didn't really need that much to get the job done. Uh, and this sort of expansion is now turning into a really, really late expansion. And what he did is he forced the Zerg to go one base. So you know the Zerg is going to get aggressive on your ass. You know he's going to come down 
and probably just go all in with units. You don't necessarily know there's going to be a proxy hatch in your base. Well, no, you don't know that at all, actually. <laughs> that, that just comes down from scouting your own damn base. Yeah. That's also another problem yeah. that he's dealing with. We take a look at the view right it's now. It's right That's outside right the edge. outside. As soon as that finishes, he's going to see the creep. He's going to panic because his cannons and his money is right here. There's nothing... Up here. He doesn't no. even have a pylon up here. No, there is. There's absolutely nothing up there. Warp to, gate to technology isn't finished. He only has two gateways. He's getting sentries because he thinks he's going to be able to block this so that units can't get in. But little... Oh, my God. Oh, all of the probes. Taking all the probes off the line. We have like Damn. 30 what, friggin... Where are you going? Oh, he Don't. is... No. Okay, this is getting... Uh, kill the... That was a nice cancel. Okay. You need to still be up there. So he is putting down a pile on here. It looks like he is playing it smart. He's going to chuck down a cannon, but is he going to have enough time? This creep is really pushing out very quickly. I don't think the cannon's going to be able to reach the hatchery. No. And no, it's not. So he's in a lot of trouble right now. A lot of probes off the line, uh, which means a lot of minerals wasted. Too much creep. He can't get that cannon out here. He keeps on canceling and rebuilding the spine crawler. A roach and a queen in here doing massive amounts of damage. We take a look down this way. The nexus is finished. What he probably should do is take all of his probes outside of the base, have saved some of this money that he's wasting right now up here on these cannons and stuff. That cannon can't even reach that hatchery. Wall up the bottom of his ramp, put a cannon in yeah. the back of it, and start mining off of this expansion. He already has a nexus. This is basically gone. At least he has a couple of cannons and gateways down here. Actually, warp gates at this yeah. point. This is a lost cause, I agree. and he's wasting a whole bunch I of time. I totally agree with you, Adam. Another thing is, when you have a hatcher in your base, you panic. Plain and simple. Oh, a lot. And that's what he did. If he was smart, he would have taken his probes off the line down here, popped out a couple of sentries, and kept forcing the hell out of this ramp until he got enough units uh, and or use this as a proxy and start attacking this base because he has warp gate research now if he would have just kept on forcing this ramp and made him just commit too much in this base he could have did a nice counter over this way because he's wasting all these probes yeah, all these probes gone. are gone at this it was a point they could have been down here massive massive waste of uh, of, uh, of resources could have had uh, another gateway up at this point with the amount of minerals that he's lost with all those probes going down that one epic spine crawler now getting a bunch of poke damage in there and uh really just tearing it up by itself and they're no health either all that cannon gonna take it out no it down it goes it's not gonna make a damn difference the pylon yeah. is down that base is you lost know what, though? and we phoenix can, is in trouble we can sit here and say shoulda coulda woulda you know, there's, sure you know, the, in any in any situation, in any StarCraft game, at the end of it, you can look and say, okay, well, if he would have done this, then he would have won. But that's not what happened. Well, we and know this much. He should not have headbutted a bajillion no, probes yeah, into, no, into no, that, no. That he shouldn't have done. There yeah. was definitely ways he could have countered this to get out of this. But, uh... Hello, I noticed you're not streaming. I was hoping I could ask you something. No. No, you can't, actually. <laughs> because we're doing something called recording. Believe it or not, we do it here. And you should probably know by now that if we're online and not playing a game, we're recording. I think people do that on purpose, though, to get More than likely. on the show. That's, that's very true. And what happened to the patch where this automatically puts you on busy? Uh, apparently that didn't happen. Maybe it's just when you're in a game, not a replay. Because that's way more important. Blizzard, we love you, but... No, actually, that love is gone now. <laughs> It's just, just totally a There's sex There's a song thing. for that. That's it. It's just sex. It's just sex? Casual sex. Ca Casual. You, you gotta be careful about that stuff, you know. That's, uh... Casual sex. Don't stick your dick in crazy. We've, we've covered that before. Look at all these roaches right now. Death. That have been pr steadily producing off of that uh, that proxy oh. hatch. Oh, GG. And GG. Out of nowhere. Hey, just like he just gave up. He's like, no, I'm done. That's yeah. it. Well, no, that's good. Because he is. Hey, at least he GG'd out of it. This is true. He got he got beat fair and square there. That was some really, really nice thinking uh, from Zulu. And, if that proxy uh, was hatch nice. wasn't there, he probably would have been fine. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because he would, there wouldn't have been a threat from the inside. He wouldn't have been able to force field off there. He had a really nice wall. That's a great looking wall. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, no. Great it's, wall it's, of Protoss. It's, it's up there with China Wall. Uh, absolutely. Like I don't think they call it that. The, the, the Great Wall of China. That's closer. I oh, know I'm just I'm kidding. That's the actual name. Oh, okay. I didn't. I just wanted to scare you there for a second. Did it I'm, work? I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Great game. You know what? I liked what Phoenix did with the with the uh, the pylons and the couple cannons up at that natural. Yep. Uh, definitely did what he needed to do. Accomplish what he needed to accomplish. Unfortunately, just didn't scout the inside of his base, and that was his demise. Always check the inside of your base. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Like TV coming to you from the final Calif Canada. Canada. I am Nova War, and I'm your favorite black YouTuber. Maximus Black. Peace! YouTube.com slash Maximus Black. Subscribe or die.